Hungry? Chew on this. Actually, this is not something you chew, but it's also not what it looks like. I made this yolk from a mango smoothie. First, I made the smoothie, including a special chemical that you can't taste, and then froze it in an egg tray. The next day, I put the frozen pieces into a warm bath that contained another chemical. As they melted, the two chemicals reacted, forming the skin of the yolk, which took on the shape of a sphere. Would you like them for dessert with a little whipped cream? Hi, I'm Vicki Cobb, the author of Science Experiments You Can Eat. This experiment in molecular gastronomy is new in my updated and revised version of the book. It has become a classic because it is not just about cooking, but how to do science and make discoveries. What's the difference between a scientist and a cook? A cook puts water in a pot over the heat and waits for bubbles to form. But a scientist looks at boiling water and asks questions. How hot does water have to be to boil? Does it get hotter after it starts boiling? If not, why not? Does water boil at the same temperature in Vail, Colorado as it boils in New York City? If not, why not? Understanding the story of boiling water was a huge breakthrough for scientists that led to the invention of the steam engine. Here's another new experiment. You can learn about different syrups by the way you look at them and the light you use. First, you need a source of polarized light, like the white light on your phone or computer. Then you need polarized sunglasses you can buy at the dollar store. Rotate one of the lenses in front of the screen and see how it blocks out the light. Finally, you need syrup. I'm using clear corn syrup that you can get at the supermarket. The polarized light from the screen passes through the syrup and the lens, which you rotate to produce a rainbow of colors. Do all syrups do this? Does color sequence change when you rotate the lens to the left or to the right? These are some of the questions you can answer with this procedure. Mango egg yolks and rainbow syrups just give you a taste of the kinds of experiments that are bubbling up throughout this book. It will keep you busy and it will make you understand why scientists love science. Don't miss science experiments you can eat.